Hey guys, this is my fourth video in my video every day for a week challenge that I have given myself. Uh, as a new mom, I'm trying to be productive in my own self as well as just being a mommy. I want to be Julie too. So uh, I'm getting back to my YouTube channel and I gave myself a little challenge to do one video a day for a week. So this video is going to be about the sentimental things that we got right before Declan was born that helped us get through these times where we're not able to be with our families um, close by because of the coronavirus. So these are some of the items that we got from them before we even knew that the world was going to be in this shape when he got here. And they have helped us so much to get through everything and we look at them and we look forward to uh, using them when we can be around our family members as well as using some of them and displaying some of them in his room now. So they're all things that are either handmade or were personalized specifically for him or were things that were ours when we were little and our parents gave us, stuff like that. So I'm going to start with things that my mom gave us. Um, the first thing is actually something that she gave me for my shower. I wanted this from an Etsy shop online. I'll link it below in the description box if I can um, find the Etsy shop that it was from. But I wanted this for so long and I was like, oh, I can't buy that for myself, that's weird. And then last minute I told my mom, I feel so bad that I didn't end up buying it and uh, I wish I had it. And she said, oh my gosh, you're never gonna believe this. And it's the one that she bought me. So it was mommy to be, a little thing that I wore, a little pin that I wore for my baby shower. So that was the first thing, and then a lot of these things we received on my baby shower day. The other thing my mom gave us is this, my nonna loves me onesie. And it has a little sloth on me, on, <laughs> has a little sloth on it. And nonna is a grandma in Italian, and my grandmother passed away on December 27th while I was pregnant with Declan. And I was very close to her, and I called her nonna. Uh, cause she's from my Italian side. I'm half Italian and half Cuban. And so she's from my Italian side. She passed away. And now my mom got promoted to Nonna with Declan. So he's going to be able to wear that. She also crocheted him this blanket that we used as his going home blanket from the hospital. And it's my favorite color and it's super soft. Then we have from Ed's parents, they brought over for my baby shower, which thank God we got to see them because that was like two weeks before all this kicked off with the coronavirus. And um, we were able to see them for the baby shower at least. Uh, and they were able to bring us some of these things. So this is what Ed calls his Mrs. Manning blanket that was made by a woman named Mrs. Manning, a very nice woman that they knew when they were very little. And him and his sister both have a Mrs. Manning blanket. They used to call it Mitty Matty blanket because they couldn't say Mrs. Manning when they were tiny. So this meant so much to Ed and it was super emotional when we got it. We also used this um, as a going home blanket from the hospital. His mom brought that over for us. And then his mom and dad also brought over his first teddy bear. So this is his first teddy. And it has like the movable arms and legs. And we display this in Declan's room in a pride of place spot up on the wall. <laughs> and then his mother made these. She is amazingly talented. She knitted these sweaters. If you want to see the one that was his going home outfit from the hospital, it was um, in my Instagram pictures. If you want to go there, it's a little white outfit with little bears, um, bear buttons, and it's so cute. I didn't take it out because it's in his memory box of things he came home from the hospital with, but she knitted this. It's absolutely beautiful, and it has these buttons, and I can't wait to put him on it put him in it this fall and then this one is so cute it's gray and it has this beautiful collar and the buttons that go over like that and look at the detail even on the hands so oh my goodness it's gorgeous and it was so sentimental to me that like these I look at them all the time because it just makes me so happy that we were able to get these before all this happened um, and that they were able to give it to us at the shower, like Ed absolutely got so emotional when he was given this teddy bear. It meant so much to him and I'm so glad that they were able to be there for that. Um, so there's that. And then my dad um, and my stepmom. So I have 
my mom, my dad, my stepmom, Ed's dad, and Ed's mom. So that's five grandparents that Declan has. Um, he's a very lucky little boy. So my dad and stepmom had this made personalized for Declan and gave it to us before he was born. And it has a red truck on it because my, my, my father and Declan's grandfather is a truck driver and that looks just like his truck. So Grandpa's truck is on it, and it says his name, Declan John. And then she also had personalized, um, well, her last name is Gay, so she had New to the Gay Crew, which is this little onesie. These little cute pants, that, oh, I call them MC Hammer pants, they're so cute. And then a hat that says Declan, that if you go to my Instagram, the pictures are all over it because we put him on it. We put him in it, like, all the time. <laughs> and so... That was his coming home from the hospital hat. So use something from each grandmother to come home from the hospital in. And then from our siblings, some things we got um, is this as soon as he was born. This is the only thing out of this group that was after he was born. Philippa, Ed's sister, got it made for us with all of his stats on it from when he was born and his name. And then my sister, Christina, this is for my stepsister. She went to Thailand and she got him this little handmade elephant all the way from Thailand and brought it to the baby shower. And that was one of his first toys when he was born. And then my brother, I can't show you the one that Declan loves and uses every night because it's in his room. It's a moon. And then this one is the cloud. Um, so the moon is like a, a warmer light. So we use it at night in his bedroom. So my brother got us a moon and a cloud and Declan uses it every night. He can't sleep without it. So it was like super sweet. Um, and my brother picked it out and, um, him and his girlfriend got us these for Christmas before Declan was born. So those are really sentimental to us as well. And then the last thing is actually behind me. My mom painted, um, this, she like painted in, she bought it. It was a moon and a sun. Then she painted it in for me before Declan was born. Um, cause it looks like the good night moon moon. And I love it. That book she also got me the good night moon book so it says hello sunshine and good night moon and we have that over his over his crib and then all our sentimental stuffed animals up there that we've gotten on our trips or that people have given us um, from everywhere these are the things that our immediate family gave us right before he was born and right after he was born um, that have meant so much to us and have kind of kept us feeling like they were close during these times and I just wanted to show you guys um, this is kind of how we've been dealing with having family so far away during this time um, it's one of the things that we've that we've used to deal with that and we have little teddy bears from our past. I have mine too that I'm going to be putting up soon. It's a rainbow bear and I love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is everything we got and I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any questions, um, this is how we're staying positive and feeling like family's here with us. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.